Sushi and boba, fish sushi and boba. Hi, welcome to Money with Min, and today I will teach you how to lower your taxes. And how you do that is through lowering your taxable income without making less money. How do you do that, you say? It's through tax deductions. Tax deduction lower your taxable income, thus, in return, you pay less taxes overall. And who doesn't like that? I love it. You probably love it. So let's get started and learn how to do it. So a little background about myself is that I used to own a business in California. And as everyone knows, California has very, very high taxes, especially for small business. And I would pay my CPA more than $1,000 a year to do my taxes. And he never once taught me any of these uh, tax loopholes, I guess. So I always pay full price on my taxes. And I regret it so much. I could have saved thousands and thousands of dollars a year if only he told me about these tax deduction techniques. So stick around and I'll teach you all the tools that I know on how to lower your taxes. So one of the main things that you can do to lower your taxes is something that Min talks about all the time, which is contributing to your 401k. I'll link down below on Min's video about 401k because he talks about it more in depth and thoroughly explains how you can maximize your benefits with it. But basically through a 401k, you can contribute up to $19,000 $500 a year. For example, if you make $100,000 a year and let's say your tax bracket is 20%, that means you would pay $20,000 in taxes for that year. However, if you contribute the max of $19,500 a year to your 401k, it'll deduct that amount making your gross taxable income only $80,500 and you only have to pay $16,000 in taxes instead of $20,000 in taxes. So you save $4,000 a year just by contributing to your 401k. And as Min explains it further, in that video linked down below if your employer matches your 401k you get free money through that so instead of paying that four thousand dollars in taxes each year you can invest it for year over year at seven to ten percent growth and when you retire you'll be a freaking millionaire however for those of you who aren't working for a company and are self-employed or own your own business um, instead of a 401k, you can utilize the SEP IRA instead. A SEP IRA is a 401k, but for self-employed individuals. And with that, you can contribute up to 25% of your compensation. Another tool that you can utilize to reduce your taxes is a called a Roth IRA. It lets you contribute $6,000 a year pre-tax into your retirement account. And we love the Roth IRA because that money that you contribute to your Roth IRA is exponentially increasing year over year. And that huge chunk of money that is growing until your retirement in 20 to 30 to 40 years is taking out tax free can you imagine that tax free let's say you invested in apple stock when it was 30 dollars a share and you put in ten thousand dollars right now apple stock is currently 130 dollars that means when you take it out you have freaking thirty three thousand dollars that you can take out tax free you don't have to pay a freaking cent on it and who doesn't want that because I know I'd rather use that money to buy boba instead of pay taxes on it, you know? And I'll link down below for those of you who are high income earners, there is something called the backdoor Roth and the mega backdoor Roth that you can take advantage of. And that will save you so, so much more money. Something else that you can utilize to lower your taxes is called an HSA, which is a health savings account. Uh, HSA is kind of like the 401k and the SEP IRA in that it can lower your taxable income. And right now, for single individual, your maximum account is $3,700 and for a family, it's $7,200. The only thing is, in order to qualify for an HSA, you have to have a high deductible account, which means you have a low premium and higher out-of-pocket expenses. What I like about the HSA is that you can use it for your everyday medical expenses, such as eyeglasses or dental work. I use it for my LASIK which costs a lot of money, but the HSA helped me lower my payment tax-free. Along the line of HSA is something that most people don't utilize, but I looked it up recently because Min and I love to donate money to charities, but we're not millionaires, so we don't donate like 10 to $50,000 or $100,000 a year or anything like that. So we can't really take advantage of this as much, but the donor advice fund is good for when you're older and maybe retired and have a little bit of money and want to donate a lot of your income to charity organizations. This tactic is a way for you to donate to charitable contribution and receive a tax reduction in exchange. For example, our plan for when we retire is to donate a lot of our income and volunteer and such. But it would be nice if you can get a tax deduction in return, right? And how that works is let's say instead of giving away $50,000 in cash to 
organizations of our choice. We'll use the example of the Apple stock that I said earlier. Let's say that Apple stock grew from 30 to 130 dollars. So we would have to pay 30 to 40 percent in capital gain tax if we were to take it out as a gain and then use that profit to donate to charity. Instead of doing that and paying taxes on that, we could use that Apple gains and directly donate to a couple of charities of our choice tax free. So you do not owe taxes on the sale of your stocks. Another way that you can actually greatly reduce your taxes, but it's something that's probably not easy for people to do is actually to move to a non-taxable income state. Min and I have talked about it a lot where we want to move to Washington or Texas or Vegas because they don't have state income taxes and that can save us 10 to $30,000 a year in taxes alone. And the cost of living is so much lower than California. So just by moving to those states, we can save so much money on taxes each year. And that 10 to $30,000 a year that we save, we can put it in a high yields investment vehicle and greatly propel our retirement account and use that money to donate to charities that we want and take care of our family. So basically overall, for the top three ways that you can reduce your taxable income, you can save almost $30,000 a year on taxable income. So let's say you make $100,000 a year and you max out your 401k, that subtracts $19,500 a year from your taxable income. If you max out your Roth, it subtracts another $6,000 a year. And if you max out your HSA, it subtracts another $3,700 a year for individual accounts, which reduces your taxable income to only $70,800 instead of $100,000, making the tax that you paid that year only $14,160 instead of $20,000 that year. And that $6,000 in savings, you can just use it to invest in the stock market, which yields 7 to 12% even each year, who knows? And by the time you retire in 20, 30 years, you'll be a freaking millionaire. And who doesn't want to be a freaking millionaire, you know? Why use that money to pay the government? when you can pay yourself. Sushi and boba, free sushi and boba. I like, I like. <laughs> so thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and I hope you utilize some of the tools that I taught you today. And if you like this video, click like and subscribe and I'll see you next week.